Don't drive too fast along Irving Boulevard or you'll miss one of the best local music venues in the Metroplex. It's a great room, the sound is good, we have some uh, good people come out. It's great to have a venue here where you can come, people on Sundays can jam out. Nowadays it's called the Pigeon Hole but it's been a lot of different things in its long history. In the early 40s, 1941, it was the first post office. It's been a sewing company. Uh, they had notions and lace and fabric. It's, uh, it's been a country store, an antique store, um, pawn shop. Today, the building is still used in a lot of different ways. We also use it for teas and brunches and small wedding receptions, things of that sort. But local musicians and music lovers have a particular reason for stopping by. We've been booking bands on Saturday nights and doing the blues jam. That's just an open, free, invitational jam. The musicians like it because it's, it's not a bar. Um, it gives them an opportunity for people to really hear their talent. It, it is truly all about the music rather than uh, alcohol sales or things of that nature. The Pigeon Hole has earned a reputation as a great place for rising stars to come and play their music. One of them is Guthrie Kennard. Guthrie Kennard thoroughly enjoys performing folk, rock, and writing his own music, but his status as a bass player is legendary. I've played bass with so many different people, and that's actually what I do. And all these years playing bass with so many different artists, and I, and I love playing bass. And my history goes back with Guthrie. I used to play in a band, some of you people may have remembered in the 70s, called Black Oak, Arkansas. Yeah. And uh, when uh, they lost their bass player, I said, I know this killer bass player. And so a lifelong friendship was born. So what we thought we'd do is do our first set acoustically with uh, the Rocky Athens group. And then also, we've got Guthrie Kennard here, who's yeah. going to, uh, who, 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 is, has, who is and always will be our bass player. He's uh, full-time in our band, but he's also full-time, he has his own career too, under the same label. Both artists have been signed by independent label Armadillo Records, and hot off the heels of a European tour, they have both just released new CDs. So are they leaving town for brighter lights? No way, when there's opportunity in their own backyards. And there's a lot of treasure here, and I think that's why I stayed here. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting.